<coughs> good morning students in today's class we are going to deal with the new worksheet that i will post today in your whatsapp group that i will post mechanics okay this is a dated on this worksheet is dated on 6 to 4 okay no problem with that so we didn't complete that now <coughs> problem number 1 two bodies two bodies one held 10 10 meters vertically above the other are released simultaneously simultaneously means at a time at a time after falling freely for 3 seconds under gravity their relative separation is this video is for all four sections all four sections f star f1 f2 and f3 listen carefully two bodies one held 10 mil 10 meters vertically above the other that means one body is here one body is here this is the body one and this is the body two they both are held 10 meters 10 meters distance away from each other okay 10 meters then what happened or released simultaneously at a time they both are released like that after falling freely for 3 seconds after falling for 3 seconds when you are releasing its time t is equal to 0 seconds here also time t is equal to 0 seconds when they released after 3 seconds this body may be here and the second will be here so this is a traveled for 3 seconds and this is also traveled for 3 seconds. Then what is the separation distance between these two? This is what the distance that he is asking. This is the distance that he is asking. E distance and half. What is the distance? When they are released, they all are, they both are under same conditions. That is they are moving under gravity gravity will pull any object towards it towards it then they both are moving simultaneously by maintaining the distance between them is same 10 meters only okay this is what i written here in case of freely falling body after falling for three seconds the relative separation will be same. The relative separation will be same. What, whatever the distance before falling is equal to the distance after falling up to 3 seconds. Okay. So, your answer is 10 meters. Your answer is 10 meters. No need to draw. No need to draw a diagram. Okay. If you want, you can go through this. I will keep it as such. Note it down. This is your first problem. <clears throat> In case of freely falling body, the conditions are same. In case of freely falling body, two bodies are there. They both will follow the same conditions. They both will follow the same conditions. First condition is initial velocity is zero. Second condition is both are accelerating with acceleration is equal to acceleration due to gravity that is a is equal to g can i erase this picture okay noted we'll go for second sum this is a little bit difficult to understand can i erase this one okay go for the next second sum so you have two and you have three boys all of you write your problem and then go through the solution. First of all, write your problem by downloading it. Second problem. A body released from certain height above the ground describes 9 by 25th of its of the total height in last second of its fall. Then it is falling from a height equal to a body is here. Here it is the body. This is your body. And what is the initial conditions for this body? U is equal to 0. 
I mean, its initial velocity is equal to zero, and the acceleration a is equal to g meter per second square. G meter per second square. Now this is the falling freely. This is the falling freely up to here, up to here. This is the falling freely. It travels up to n seconds. N seconds it travels, and up to here, uh, you can take this as n minus one seconds. And this is last second. I mean, nth second, nth second. Look, this is the whole distance covered by it. That is how much it is h. This is the whole height covered by it. When it is fall, its initial velocity is equal to zero. Its acceleration a is equal to g meter per second square. And the time taken to reach the ground. Is n seconds. In its last second of journey, it covers this much distance. How much it is? It is given that nine h by twenty five. Nine h by twenty five. Nine h by twenty five. This is what he given. A remaining in n minus one seconds, it covers a distance this much, this much. And what is the total distance? H. Now, can I give the idea? The distance covered by it in n minus one seconds. In n minus one seconds, can I give what is the distance covered by this one? Total distance minus this one. Can I write like that? You need to write. The distance covered in last second is n nine h by twenty five. In remaining n minus one seconds, the distance covered by it is equal to total distance minus. Distance covered by it in its last second. Total distance minus distance covered by it in its last second. This is about the diagrammatic representation. What he is asking? What is its height? H value he is asking. If you know that how many seconds it travels, then you can calculate H value. If you don't know that how many seconds it travels, you cannot calculate h value. So first of all, our aim is to get the value of seconds. That how many seconds it is in air. It is in air. For that, our best clue is this one. This is the clue. This is the clue. So come on to the formula. Is formula is in last second of its journey it covers. Yes, n second. In yes, n second it covers nine h by twenty five. That's what I have written. In n seconds, in n second from here to here, how much distance it covered? Yes, n is equal to uh, half g n square. Is it not h? Yes, it is a h. The total height. The total height half g n square. N is time. Then what is the distance covered in n minus one seconds? What is the distance covered in in n minus one second? Just write instead of writing n minus one. That we will write. Now practically how much it is? Now remaining distance h prime is equal to new height. That is n minus one second. This is h prime. This is h prime. Okay. So how much it is? H minus yes n seconds. That is n the second. H minus nine h by five. How much you you are getting? Twenty five into h. Twenty five h minus nine h by twenty five. Twenty five h minus nine h is equal to sixteen h by twenty five. This is equals to this is equals to the distance covered in n minus one seconds. This is what. Come on to the formula for that. The distance covered or distance fall in n minus one seconds. What is the distance here? I told that. Here you can write yes. Instead of writing n, you can write n minus one. Then what is the formula? Half g into n minus one whole square. That is what I written. This is the distance covered in n minus one seconds. Okay, this is the distance covered in n minus one second. The diagrammatical representation is this. Calculated part of distance is sixteen h by twenty five. How you got this? You did the subtraction. Total height minus distance covered in nth second. This is how you got 
16 h by 25 that is equal to half the n square we know that height is equal to half the n square just I substituted the formula half g n square by simple calculation g half g and half g will get cancelled then what is remaining 16 by 25 into n square is remaining and n minus whole square is remaining you need to remove these squares for that we will go for method taking roots on both sides a root over this and root over this value you can write 16 as a 4 square, look 4 square, 25 as a 5 square and n square. The whole term can be written like this, 4n by 5 whole square. Just go through this, 4 square means 16, n square means n, 5 square means 25 and minus 1 whole square as such. Now you can cancel this root and square, root and square. Then what is remaining? 4n by 5 is equal to n minus 1 by simple calculation. 4n is equal to 5 into n minus 5. Then from this we got at how many seconds it is in air. n is equal to 5 seconds. So it took 5 seconds to form. 5 seconds to form. You can substitute the value of n is equal to 5 here and you will get this value. h is equal to half g n square. Half g is a 9.8. n square is equal to 5 square. By simple calculation, h is equal to 122.8. 5 meters h is equal to 122.5 meters from this height it falls freely from this height it falls freely everyone note it down before noting it down you all remember that you need to write problem first you need to write the problem first okay this is for all four sections prepare proper notes you have already fact notes with you in that you can prepare this is our second worksheet in our holidays. First worksheet 25 problems and second worksheet includes 27 problems. So these two 50 problems, 52 problems will be checked. Ma, you can check this. Okay? Noted?